Hey guys, you are now entangled with Brie and Joe. I am Brie. And I'm Joe. <laughs> and today we are going to talk about the elusive bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> elusive. They exist. We do exist. Contrary to popular belief, bisexuals are not just curious or going through a phase. There is very much a possibility that a person can shockingly have feelings for both sexes. I am a beaming example of this. It, she had I don't, I don't know if that's <laughs> a beaming, yes you are. Yes. A shining example. <laughs> she, however, is what you would classify as a gold star lesbian. She has only ever been physically intimate. Physically intimate with women. Women. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun just to sit down with a true gold star <laughs> lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, ask her how she feels about bisexuals. Like, first of all, what what has your experience been with bisexuals? Have you dated a lot of bisexuals? No. no. Very little to um, pretty much zero experience with bisexuals. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm the worst person for you to be talking to about this. That's interesting to me. Because I know that a lot of the women that you have had relations with in the mm -hmm. past are with men now. So yes. why are you telling me that they are not bisexual? Because they 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 never told me they were bisexual. They do not identify. They don't subscribe. They don't. And per, I think for the most part, with the exception maybe of a couple. I don't know. That's I don't want to say too 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 much about numbers or call any, anyone out about anything. But it's a one-off. I was there one and only. So they were bi-curious. Okay. That's a question I had for you. Because I hear that those two, bisexual and bi-curious, used kind of interchangeably. And I do not think that they should be used. Absolutely to not. Absolutely not. Absolutely okay. not. Will you, ex will you explain then to me? Because as far as I know, bi-curious, that, does that just exist in the mind? So, and then bisexual is like the... The actual doing, the experience of being bi-curious? Okay, so explain. Okay, so bisexual is very much a sexual orientation. I have feelings for both men and women, or I'm capable of having feelings for both men and women. But curious has feelings for whichever sex, the opposite sex. So if I'm a woman, I'm, I'm straight. But I'm curious about what it would be like to dip in the lesbian pool. And then once I stick my toe in there, I'm like, mm, that was fun, bye. Okay, so could by curious also be, what, like, for instance, if your boyfriend wants you to dabble and kiss and for his pleasure and watch you with another female, is that, could you classify that as by curious or not really because that's more of... I'm doing it for my boyfriend. No, I, I think that if you're doing it for your boyfriend, then you're not by curious. You're just generous in the relationship. But if your boyfriend suggests it and you're like, that would be fun, and you're curious as to what it would be like, you know, that's by curious. So when do you when does by curious go from curious to sexual? When you become a bona fide bisexual? When feelings get involved. Feeling. So it's not it's 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 not the act. That does not really mean anything. Um, you know, it's very difficult to explain because I think that sexuality is very much on a spectrum. I have met people that are sexually attracted to the same sex, but they would never be in a relationship with okay. the same sex. So what is that? I think that's bisexual. Okay, that's bisexual. I do think that's bisexual. If you Purely because they're capable, their heart and their mind, they're capable of going there. They just... They want it. They what? They want it. Want what? <laughs> I have had boyfriends in the past who love having sexual encounters with other men. But when it comes down to 
having a relationship with a man, they would never even dream of that. Like being out with their boyfriend. Yeah. If so they were to, if they were I would classify that as bisexual as well because they they sexually enjoy the same sex. And they could love that person, but they choose not to because well, no, society. I don't no. They just they are not emotionally there for the same sex. That's why I'm saying that it's very much on a spectrum. You can be sexually bisexual or Oh you boy. Sexually bisexual. Okay. Yes. So okay. you can you can be sexually into the same sex but not able to put your heart into the same sex. And then you can be emotionally bisexual where like me I can love both sexes. I just see the person for their soul and really their biological sex it doesn't matter to me. Maybe that's why some lesbians and I'm sure straight people maybe take issue is because you almost want to argue with that initially like impulsively you want to argue and just like kind of ah what like scoff at that like how can how is that even possible I, I've gotten it all you know anything from oh you're just going through a phase you know when I'm in a relationship with a man it's very much like oh she used to think that she was a lesbian she used to date girls she went through a phase and then once I got out of a relationship with a man and got back into a relationship with a woman make up your mind Brianna what do you want and that yeah. is the issue that I am continually running into is I'm either confused or I I'm indecisive. I just think that people don't believe that I could truly feel the way I feel for both sexes. Not you, as in you, the Brianna, but you're you're speaking about like all people that could be bisexual. Well, that, that was my that's been my personal experience, but I'm sure that other bisexuals could relate because it's been a struggle my whole life that I'm not. Gay enough to be with the gays yes. and fit in with that community and that those groups, and you're not. So yeah, I mean, I, I could see that. Shockingly, that, I get discriminated against just as much by the LGBTQ community as I do by the straight community because I'm not gay enough for the girls that I'm with, and I'm not straight enough for the guys I'm with, and I've gotten so many different reactions. You know, especially from men that I've been with, it can go one of few ways. It could be like, awesome, we can have a threesome. Yeah, I could see that going immediately right there. Like, Or, sweet. you know, are you sure that you're not a lesbian and just afraid to come out of the closet? I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to invest A guy in says feelings. that or lesbians will say that? Because I could see I've, girls I've saying I've had guys that. say that to me too. Really? Yes. I've had men be very insecure and in hoping and praying that I don't decide to change my mind and be like, I'm so sorry this isn't going to work out because it turns out I am a lesbian. Yeah, sure. I can see that. That being a fear. I just think that it, for me, I've never had an issue with, well, I've had issues, obviously, with if somebody was to do that with me, but I feel like it's equal parts that could happen with anyone. And any relationship, whether you can, if you don't, if you don't want to be with that person anymore, for me, it's like, the, that's reason enough. It doesn't really matter who you're, I'm not going to take issue with you leaving me for a man. I would actually have a way harder time if you left me for another female, a way harder time than if, because if you leave me for a guy, there's, there's nothing I can do about that. There's, for me, that minimizes almost the insecurity almost altogether because that's purely something I cannot control. If you were to leave me for another female, it's like I there is something that I would feel responsible or accountable that I wasn't doing, that I didn't satisfy, I was inadequate. There was some, you know, a personal failure. Hmm. The guy, it's it's for me initially, and it goes way deeper. I mean, that it always depends on the circumstance and the two people involved, obviously. And if you're a notorious serial bounce back, you know, you're with a girl. And then if that doesn't work out, then you immediately go back to a guy. Like if there's patterns and cycles, I think that that 
you know, that's on you, probably. That's that flaky, the flaky uh, reputation I think sometimes bisexuals have. So what, in your opinion, does the lesbian community think of bisexuals then? I mean, you said, so basically you guys think that we're flakes. No, I I don't think that. And I, I think that we've come a long way, like we as in the LGBTQ, HRTV, I, all, all of the, the community. In a, in a, LGBTQ. But then there's like an A and an I or something I, I was listening. <laughs> there's other things that I have no idea. I, I just think we've evolved. I think that we're, because of things like this and social media and just talking about it and having groups and people speak out kind of saying like, hey, why, why the hate? Like, what, what is it about me being able to love everybody? <laughs> it sounds bad. I, I think we've really come a long way. I think it used to be a lot of fear and insecurity and just really like kind of protecting yourself. Like, why would I put myself out there to get not only hurt by her leaving me for another girl, but also a guy. It's just, it's broadening the chances. So when of being I'm hurt. out with you then. But, but I didn't finish that. That's not, that's not what I feel like it is now anymore. I think that, I think it, it really has changed a lot and people are not at all that narrow minded. I think that it's, it's really evolved in a big way and that, which is happy, which is exciting. But of course you're going to have those people that have an issue and take issue. But those are typically the people I feel like that take issue with every label and identity and anything that you say and want to do, that they're going to be the naysayers, if that makes sense. Yeah. So my question for you then, as a gold star lesbian with a bisexual, when we're out, do you worry about, oh my God, is she looking at everyone in the room, basically, no. girls and mm -hmm. guys? No. Because that's a lot of the general opinion about bisexuals as well, is that in relationships, there's so much distrust because you don't know who they're looking at. But there, then there you go. That's a problem within the relationship. You just said it. That it's not the problem with the potential of love and who you, who you want and who you want to be with. It's trust. I know who you love and who... I, I'm just not worried about it. That's a personal relationship question that I think if you do have, if you take an issue with your bisexual partner, if that's a huge insecurity within yourself that you're harboring against your person, then that, that's a trust. That's a trust thing. Don't you think? I, I do. I definitely agree. But you have to realize that that is a common opinion about bisexuals in relationships. People tend to get very scared that we love everybody. But that's that's a whole other thing. Is just because I'm a bisexual doesn't mean I'm automatically going to be in love with you. Exactly. It's the same thing <laughs> with like I used to feel the same way about just being a lesbian and feeling uncomfortable or awkward yes. around my friends or around people who find out about me, you know, after the fact. Yeah, you could it's be like, getting dressed in front of your friends or your friends are getting dressed in front of you and like Oh my god, don't look at me. I know that you like girls. Right. Oh, right. Because I like girls, I must be, I must be attracted to you. Right. You know, there's no such thing as, that's another thing. Is it possible to just be friends with somebody if you have the potential to be attracted to them? There's that, been that argument about bisexuals too. For example, you can think about this easier in a heterosexual way. If I am a girl and you're a guy, they don't like when you have a close friend that is of the opposite sex, okay? So a lot of the times, some of the insecurity I get that because I'm bi, if I have a close friend, it's, oh my gosh, does she secretly want to have sex with this person? Hmm. <laughs> Have I rendered you speechless? <laughs> yeah. I, yes. Well, on that point, absolutely. I just think that the biggest issue that I've come across personally as a bisexual is that a lot of the people in my life think that I can't make up my mind. Yeah. 
That's got to be hard too. That's, I think that that, that is sucks. probably the biggest issue that bisexuals will get, especially especially if you are a bisexual in a heterosexual relationship. Because when I was married to a man, it was just very much anytime I was proud or owned the bisexual label, people would get almost offended sometimes and be like, why are you saying you're bisexual? You're married to a man. That you are heterosexual. That's in your past. No, it's not in my past. Just because I am in a heterosexual relationship does not mean that I am not still very much attracted to women. The same can be said when I'm in a lesbian relationship. Just because I am in a relationship with you doesn't make me a lesbian. I am still very much a bisexual, but I just happen to be in a very loving and monogamous lesbian relationship. So you would call us a lesbian relationship? We're in a lesbian relationship, but I'm not a lesbian. I am a bisexual. So my sexual orientation has not changed. Right. Because I'm still very much capable of having feelings for men, but I am in a monogamous lesbian relationship with you. Yes. I, but I think that you, you, the confidence being, and just being able to explain that. I, I don't know if, if every bisexual, every lesbian, every gay, there, it's sometimes it's hard to put words and explain feelings, you know? And so I think that sometimes that is what freaks out the parents or the sisters of said little fledgling bisexual or lesbian. <laughs> You might just not have all the answers and put and be able to put ex- exact terminology and definitions to what you are feeling. And that's okay. Some people don't want to put a label on themselves, and that is okay. There are so many different labels that people can subscribe to. Labels are for soup cans. They're not for people, but it helps people. It helps a lot of people come to terms with themselves. If you want to get really technical... I mean, I don't know because I've never personally dated a transsexual, but I bet I could. Like, I I think you absolutely could. So if you want to get technical, that probably makes me a pansexual. A pansexual is somebody who's capable of loving anybody. I've always claimed the bisexual title. But, again, labels can get blurry. They can get messy. I agree. I You know how I feel. But I do think that there's a difference... And I don't, I don't, you would have to kind of probably help me. You would probably know better the differences and of how you identify and your identity versus labels. I almost feel like an identity is more um, self-imposed. You give it to yourself and that's, you know, more intrinsic. I think a label suggests more of like the judgmental or like what gets placed on the person. Does that make sense at all? Am I off on that? No, it makes sense. Okay. Because I, I was just thinking about it right when you said that. I I personally cannot, I don't like labels. I just think but it's so much easier. how you identify and what your identity, it, that identify and identity. It's like, you need, you need to have an identity, a sense of self, you know, but I don't think there's so much that goes into that. I just think that it's so much easier, no offense, so much easier for lesbians and straight people because... It's Easier just, in what aspect? The whole label thing. I totally it's agree. It's just, it is what it is. Yep. I only like this, so I am this. That's easy. Once you start adding other things to the mix, that's where you can come up with thousands of different right. labels. Right. You know? So for all intents and purposes, I have claimed the bisexual label because I have been in love with men and I've been in love with women. and. You know, I, I don't know. I've never been in a relationship with a transsexual, but I think that you, you think I would be capable of it. I absolutely do. I think I would. I absolutely think you would. If you want to get technical, I would be considered a pansexual. But the point is, is people don't think that we are real. Like you have to, like it's something where it's going to expire. Like one of, one of your feelings or the feelings for either a man or a woman, that eventually is going to come to an end. You're eventually going to run out of yes. that experimental, like, You're eventually suddenly... going to pick a side. Right. 
And then don't even get me started. Something that I want to say to the world out there. If you are listening to me, listen to this. I think it is grossly unfair that it is more acceptable in the public's eye for a woman to be bisexual. And that for some reason, bisexual men, that's even more taboo or thought to be non-existent. You will have no idea how many times I have heard that there are no such thing as bisexual men. They're just afraid to come out of the closet. Yeah, I, I've heard I've heard that. Not that there's no such thing, but I've, I have definitely heard that. And that makes said. me so angry. For example, with men, I have heard that, oh my God, he's just, he's so gay. He's just afraid to come out of the closet. And that makes me so angry. You don't get that very much with women. Oh, she's a lesbian. She's just afraid to come out of the closet. More often than not, you're like, oh, she's just curious. You don't get that with men. It's Uh, not he's straight and he's curious. It's automatically he's gay. Yeah. And he's afraid to come out of the closet. Why is that? That is so annoying. And the whole, that going back to the whole bisexual thing, why is it just assumed that they're full on gay and they're just afraid to come out of the closet? Why is it so hard to wrap your mind around a man being able to love both? But it's more simple for you to wrap your mind around a woman loving both. Am I making any sense? Absolutely. I think in short, women are thought to be more emotional, um, more fluid, and it be about the combination of sexual intimacy, emotional intimacy, where a man is wrong and unjust. It's that they are sexual beings, that they are more primitive. They, you know, that's the act. It's that. So to wrap your head around like any type of emotion for a male and being able to, you know, I think that's where people have this completely false disconnect. Yeah. It's just, it really offends me to be quite honest because I've heard, you know, oh, but women are so beautiful. You know, when people like to watch women kissing other women, but you don't find as many people enjoying watching men kissing other men. The whole entire topic just pisses me off. I just want people out there to know that, yes, bisexuals are real, and it does not only apply to women. There are bisexual men, and it's okay. It's great. Be who you are. Love yourself. Embrace yourself. And everyone else needs to just deal with it. And if they don't, then that's their problem. It's not yours. If you want to label yourself as a bisexual and you're a man, go for it because you are very much entitled to embrace that label as well. Absolutely. Embrace. I like that. (laughs) So that concludes our discussion on bisexuals. If you are bisexual, please tell us your experiences below. We would love to hear how you came out of the closet if you came out of the closet at all. Do you find yourself to be bi-curious or maybe you are sexually attracted to women but not emotionally attracted to women? That's what I'm curious about. sexually attracted to men but not emotionally attracted to men? We would love to hear from you. Absolutely. Well said. <laughs> <laughs>